We need to add three more methods to our view controller in order to bring this game to life. One to handle letter buttons being tapped, another to handle a current word being cleared, and a third to handle a current word being submitted. The first two are easiest, so let's get those done so we can get onto the serious stuff. First, we already used the add target method in view did load to make all our letter buttons call the method letter tapped. But right now, it's empty. Let's go ahead and fill that code in. So here, I'm going to stop reading the title label from the button that was tapped, doing it safely. We'll say guard let button title equals sender dot title label question mark dot text else return. Now, of course, we know all our letter buttons have titles, but there's no harm being safe here. Let's just exit immediately if there wasn't a title. If there was a title, we'll append it to the existing text of our current answer text field and put that new string back into the current answer. We'll say current answer dot text is equal to current answer dot text question mark dot appending the button title. So append that to the current answer and put it back into the text field. As this button was tapped, we're going to append it to our activated buttons array. We'll say activated buttons dot append sender and then mark it as being hidden. So they can't tap it again. So again, we have a safety check here to read the title from a tap button or exit if it didn't have one for some reason. Second, add that button title to our current answer text. Third, add it to our activated buttons array so we know it's been tapped and then hide the button. Now this array is really important. It's being used to hold all buttons the player has tapped before submitting their answer. This is important because we're hiding each button as it's tapped. So if the user taps clear, we need to know which buttons are currently in use so we can reshow them. We already created an empty method for clear being tapped. It's down here, clear tapped. So let's fill it in now. This thing will clear out the text in the text field, show all the buttons in our activated buttons array, i.e. that are part of the current word, then remove all items from the array. So we'll say current answer dot text is an empty string for button in our activated buttons array, button dot is hidden is false. Show it again. And then after that, we'll say activated buttons dot remove all. Get rid of them all straight away. So you can see we blank out whatever they guessed so far, reshow any buttons that tapped as part of the current answer, and then empty that array. That just leaves one very important method to fill in. And we already made it stub. This thing here, submit tapped when the player taps the submit button. This code will use the first index of method to search through the solutions array for an item. And if it finds it, tells us its position. Remember the return value of first index of is optional. So in situations where nothing is found, you won't get a value back. We need to unwrap its return value carefully. If the user gets an answer correct, we're gonna change the answers label. So rather than saying seven letters, it says haunted. So they know which ones they've solved already. The way we're going to do this is hopefully easy enough to understand. First index of will tell us which solution matched their word. And we can use that position to find the matching answer text, seven letters. All we need to do is split the answer label text up by line breaks, replace the line at the solution position with the solution itself, then rejoin the answer label back together again. You already learned how to use components separated by to split text into an array. And now it's time to meet its counterpart, joined separator. This makes an array into a single string with each array element separated by the string specified in its parameter. Once that's done, we clear the current answer text field and add one to the score. If the score is evenly divisible by seven, we know they've found all seven words. So we're gonna show a UI alert controller that will prompt the user to go to the next level. If you remember, Swift has a division remainder operator, percent, that tells us what number remains when you divide one number evenly by another. That's all the parts explained. So let's go ahead and write submit tapped. First, we'll read out the answer text from our current answer text field. We'll say guard let answer text equals current answer dot text. If that fails for some reason, return, bail out immediately. Next, we'll try and find the answer text in our solutions array using first index of. We'll say if let solution position equals solutions dot first index of the answer text. So if it's found, great, 
go ahead and remove all buttons from our activated buttons array. Split up the answers label into a new variable called split answers that will be equal to answers label dot text question mark, which is optional, dot components separated by a line break. Now this thing here, split answers, will be now an optional array because we have answer label text question mark. An optional there makes an optional array. So now I want to go into split answers at the solution position where their word was found and replace seven letters with the solution itself. So we'll say split answers, question mark, it's optional, remember, brackets, solution position equals their answer text and take the word haunted and replace it where it previously said seven letters. Now we're gonna join that array back together again, still using line breaks, and put it back into the answers label. We'll say answers label dot text equals split answers question mark dot joined with a separator, a line break. Boom. Once that's done, we'll clear out our current answer text field Make it empty, add one to the score. And if that score divides into seven evenly, so there's zero left over, we know they've finished the level, so we'll show a message saying, well done, and get them to the next level. We'll say, if score percent seven is equal to zero, let AC equal to UI alert controller with the title, well done. Message, are you ready for the next level? preferred style dot alert. We'll add one action to this by doing AC dot add action, UI alert action. Title will be let's go. Style will be dot default. And for handler, we're gonna call a method we haven't written yet called level up. And this is, again, does not exist right now. We'll get an error here for the time being, but that's okay, we'll do it in a second. And finally, we'll call uh, present AC animated true. Now, we have not written this level up method yet, but that's okay. It's not so hard. This thing needs to add one to level, our integer, remove all items from the solutions array, call load level, so a new levels file is loaded and shown, and then make sure all our letter buttons are visible once again. So the game's reset with a new level. So we'll scroll down, find some space, and say, func level up, this thing is being called from a UI alert action, so we're gonna have it as a parameter. Action, UI alert action. We'll add one to the level. Then do solutions dot remove all. We'll do keeping capacity true this time because we have seven solutions each time, so we might as well keep the capacity there for the next time. Call load level again to load the next level, which we loaded from level two this time because we add one to level up here and then loop over all our letter buttons, full button in letter buttons, and make sure we set is hidden back to being false again to show every button as we go. So it clears out all the solutions we had, calls load level again, because levels change level two or three or four, and then shows all the buttons. Now I've made for you a level two file already, so this should actually work completely now. So I'll press Command R and give it a try and see if this game works. The prompt here, uh, clue number one, the zoological web, six letters. The answer here is going to be sa fa -ri. And press submit. Boom, that goes away, and safari appears here in place of the six letters. Head of state British style, that's going to be Elizabeth. Submit. Uh, has a Dickensian twist, that's Oliver. Great. Uh, orange and sounds like a parrot. That's going to be ka r ut. Shoreline chirping. That's going to be twi it r. Hipster heartland. Love the city. Portland. And ghosts in residence. Haunted. And press submit. And boom, there's our alert saying, well done, next level. I'll press let's go. And level two. So a cow or tornado, an exploding monkey, a pig that drives dangerously, and so forth. This blanks it out, plus new letters to guess all the way down here as well. So that's our game done. 
Any further levels are for you to do. Just make sure there's a total of 20 letter groups each time.